for our project, we're delving in to a critical subject that affects the lives of girls on many fronts. Gender representation and stereotypes. From an early age, we're told what color pertains to what gender, along with toys, movies, and many more. As we grow up, stereotypes affect us in even more ways, informed by the perspective of Teresa Dolores, we notably understand that gender is a representation. We'll unravel how these representations influences girls' experiences. From the design of school uniforms, to expectation in sports, the dynamics of work environments, and the often unattainable beauty standards, these factors play a significant role in the shaping of lives of young girls. Dolores' insights provide a theoretical lens to understand how societal expectations create a framework for those representations of gender. Here are our personal and insightful interviews on how we've navigated these issues firsthand. Why will you be discussing this subject? Because I thought that the gender representation in schools with the school uniforms were really unfair to girls. Did you have any personal experiences with the school dress code that you found was not fair? Yes, I did. Um, when it was non-uniform days, you had to pay to wear your own clothes and Girls specifically had more restrictions on what they could wear than boys, which I found super unfair because it limited the girls' expressions, the, the, it limited girls' expression, how they express themselves through clothes. So I would wear leggings and I would get in trouble for it. I would get detention for wearing leggings for some reason. And it, I found that super unfair and it really angered me. How does this affect the gender stereotypes? Um, well, it tells little girls what to wear, so our uniform were mostly consisted of skirts, so it would all, it would implement like the girls being girls by wearing skirts and boys being boys by wearing pants, and that was very stereotypical. <laughs> <laughs> Concerning the work environment as a young woman, have you ever encountered any uncomfortable situations or inappropriate comments while working? Occasionally, yes. The nature of the environment is you have to talk to a lot of different people. So yes, I do get comments, especially with the uniform that I have to wear. Could you give a brief example? Uh, there was one time where I was working and there was a group of older men, maybe in their later 30s, and they were making comments about the uniform. My uniform consists of a short skirt and a tank top that is cropped and low cut. How has your workplace supported you in dealing with these challenges? My management is supportive, however, because of the men that normally make the comments, they normally feel they have power and therefore they most likely have money and my business to, does want the business that they give, therefore they don't do much. How do you find this affects gender stereotypes? As a woman, um, I do have to wear a different uniform than the guys do, which I do think is quite unfair. I'm usually freezing in my uniform as well and the men in my work never get the same comments that I do. How do, you, how do these experiences affect your overall perception of the job and the people? I do love my job and I do love the people there, however it does hurt a little bit every single time someone does say something, especially considering I am a minor and I am a girl. What sports do you play? Um, I play hockey, which is like a very male dominant sport, but I also love ballet. <laughs> So how does this affect you as a woman playing those sports? Well, I didn't really feel accepted by my teammates because I was stereotyped as um, the weaker player because I was a woman, even though I've been playing basically since I was born. Okay. How has beauty standards affected you? I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go on like TikTok and Instagram, I see these models with like yeah. such mm. unrealistic beauty standards and bodies. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So like, who's the influencer that pops up into your head when you first? Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. All of the Kardashians, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. All of them. They have unrealistic body types and yeah. beautiful skin. Yeah. Like, I want that. And sense. they don't even look like they do skin no, care. No. no. Like, yeah. I've never seen somebody with a body like that in real life. Mm -hmm. Especially as a teenager, you see that and you feel like that's how you should look, but it's as so unrealistic. Yeah. I know. And the skin too, how is that even possible? It's not. It's not like people with acne must look at that and think like... Yeah, it's destroying their confidence. Mm -hmm. Amazing, guys. Okay. What do you, whoa, what am I, what's my question? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> In conclusion, our exploration of defining the plant blueprint has illuminated the profound significance of discussing gender representation. It is crucial that we talk about what transcends the superficial and delves into the very fabric of societal norms. Understanding how stereotypes affect girls as they navigate the journey of growing up is pivotal. 
These expectations not only shape their self-perception, but also influence the opportunities and challenges they encounter. By dismantling these stereotypes, we pave the way for a more inclusive and equitable future. As we challenge the pink blueprint, let's remember that colors should never limit one's potential, and breaking free from these preconceptions is a step forward towards a world where individuality is celebrated and stereotypes are a thing of the past.